I'm Philip Tudowu, Olympic triple jumper. Proud to be an ambassador for BBC Radio 1 Hackney Weekend and welcome to Hackney. So I'm back here in my old primary school. This is, um, it's, it's been emotional. Um, I went up and spoke in assembly, walked around the playground, met the kids, and this is where it all started for me. I remember running up and down this playground, racing people, playing football, playing basketball. And I, I, I got excited. I got excited even on my way in because like lots of things started coming back to me and I, I remember walking from my estate down here on a daily basis and the friends and the people that, that I had here. These kids, they've got so much potential and that's, that's something that I want them to nurture. I want that to grow. I want them to kind of to focus and work hard and move on and be successful because with all my successes, standing on the podium as a world champion and as an Olympic winning medal, this is something that I should have thought of. This is something that should have been in, in the back of my head because this is where it all began. And I love it. Hackney, this is home, this is home. This um, has a special place in my heart. I remember as a youngster, pretty much every summer I was here. For the solid six weeks, I was here every day. Would wake up 10 o'clock in the morning, walk from Dalston, come in through there. I had friends that lived on them estates in them blocks back there. And I'd be here all day, 10 a.m. till it got dark. No food, no substance. The only thing I, I was living off was Lucasades. <laughs> I'd walk down to that petrol station there, get a couple of bottles, come back, continue playing. And that definitely aided my career. Um, all that jumping around in the summer definitely helped um, progress my triple jumping. It was quite easy to move from basketball to athletics, it's jumping in one way to jumping another way. Um, basketball is something that I picked up at school. Um, I love the sport, um, enjoy it, and if I get the opportunity, I love to play now. Um, triple jump was a natural progression. Once I stepped on the athletics track, it kind of took my heart. Um, I, I saw that's where my talents and my ability lay. I don't think I could have been a world champion if I was to pursue basketball as a career. Um, I have been world champion, twice world champion, and it, it, my roots stem from playing basketball, so it's definitely aided me. Ridley Road Market, this is a place that, again, is close to my heart. This is Hackney to me. If there's a few places that I can say is Hackney, this will be one of the first things that comes to mind. The heart of the community, um, so many different people, so many different cultures. I grew up around here. I worked just across the road from this market. It's, it's a lovely, it's a warm place. Like you get a friendly reception from people and who's Thank gonna come you. second? I'm not coming second, love. You're gonna come first. Come on, man. Not when Jamaican's coming up. Uh, there, ain't, there ain't no Jamaicans in my event, so I'm lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. I'm lucky, I'm lucky. <laughs> nice to meet you, okay? All right, take care. Youngsters and kids in this area get stereotyped and you have this impression that they're, they're troublemakers, they're a waste of space, they, they're not doing anything positive. So Radio 1 just even placing themselves in the community itself is, is uplifting, it's positive. And again, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. And whatever I could do to get involved, inspire, motivate youngsters and kids, then I'll do it. With the help of Radio 1 and this academy and the festival, it's all a good message, man. It's a good look.